Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala program. I am Dr. Shuev Lukman from the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, Lucknow. Today, we are going to talk on Module Catabolism of Lipids from the paper Lipid Metabolism. The objective of the present module that we are going to discuss is to understand the catabolism of lipids or the breakdown of the lipids. Also to know what are the implications of the lipid breakdown or lipid catabolism. In general, the breakdown of intricate substances into simple simple molecules or simpler form in the living organism with the discharge of energy is called catabolism. It is also known as destructive metabolism which is distinct from the anabolic process which is the preparatory phase or the building phase of the metabolism. The word catabolism is derived from the Greek word kato and baleen and kato means to throw and baleen means downward. So if you can see the catabolism, actually it is throwing downward the building blocks into a simpler form. In catabolism, there are sets of sequenced reactions in a pathway that break down complex and larger molecules into a simple and smaller form. and the energy released during that breakdown process is utilized in the anabolism process or the preparatory phase. Lipids, nucleic acid, polysaccharide, proteins, all polymers are broken down into fatty acid, nucleotide, monosaccharide and amino acid respectively. These polymers are broken down and the release monomers are utilized by the cells 
to either assemble a new polymer or modify the monomer unit to release the energy and yield simple waste products acetic acid ammonia carbon dioxide lactic acid urea are the waste products of the oxidation process releases the chemical free energy whereas a small quantity of energy is lost as heat and during the oxidation process the released chemical free energy is utilized to course the atp synthesis catabolism as a disparaging metabolism and examples are the breakdown of fat which we will be discussing in details in the coming modules also includes breakdown of proteins and how this citric acid cycle and glycolytic pathway play its role we will to see that the complex molecule or the polymers for example lipids proteins and carbohydrates are broken down into simpler molecules like fatty acids amino acids and monosaccharides in addition to these molecules ammonia carbon dioxide ethanol lactic acid and urea as a simple molecule are also produced in catabolism energy is released or else we can say that catabolism is a energy yielding metabolism in a cell there are two types of reactions going on the exergonic reactions where the gibbs free energy is always less than zero and endergonic reactions where the gibbs free energy is always more than zero there are two conditions also that entails low enthalpy high entropy and high enthalpy low entropy these conditions are important in the catabolic pathway for the generation of energy and heat and also in releasing cellular building blocks the food particles in catabolic pathway undergo 
high enthalpy and low entropy phenomena and changes to low enthalpy and high entropy condition. Whereas, anabolic pathway on the other hand start from low enthalpy and high entropy and finished at high enthalpy and low entropy conditions. The catabolic processes are controlled by numerous signals including hormones that stimulate the metabolic process. Adrenaline, cortisol, and glucagon are the typical catabolic hormones, whereas cytokines, hypocretin, melatonin and orexins are the hormones with least catabolic effects have already been revealed. In muscle tissue, some of these catabolic hormones articulate an anti catabolic effect. For example, an anti proteolytic effect. was observed during adrenaline or epinephrine administration which suppresses the metabolism. Other reports revealed that Catecholamines, for example, dopamine, epinephrine, or norepinephrine, greatly diminish the pace of muscle catabolism. In catabolism, the reactions are alike as the complex molecule being chewed up so that they could be utilized in an easier way. The process of digestion is a catabolic activity that begins with the breakage of the bonds in larger and complex food molecules by water. The so formed simple and smaller molecules are subsequently transmitted to the cells to partake in a process that change the 
apply chemical energy to ATP when food particles are broken down into simple and smaller nutrients it releases the energy through an oxidation process in addition to digestion cellular respiration is also a catabolic method as it breaks down the simple and small molecules from digestion into even lesser ones and energy is created in form of ATP. Both digestion and cellular respiration are very essential processes as ATP is produced and used by the cells perform essentially bodily functions including the muscles movement and production of body heat. The energy during the catabolic processes is released in three defined phases. First, the complex and the large molecules like lipids, proteins and polysaccharides are wrecked down resulting in the release of petite amounts of energy in form of heat. Second phase include the simple and small molecule oxidation to form ATP and heat by a chemical energy ensuing the formation of any one of the three compounds namely acetate, oxaloacetate or alpha oxoglutarate which subsequently oxidized to form carbon dioxide. The cyclic sequence reaction in the third phase takes place through Krebs cycle that transfers the electrons and the hydrogen atoms from the transitional compounds to oxygen resulting in the formation of water. In cells, the events are imperative for ATP cohort and are referred to as oxidative phosphorylation and terminal respiration. During the normal metabolic functions, the body faces a catabolic state that essentially characterizes the breakdown of foods and nutrients. as a result of which they will have the aptitude to assemble again and append to the tissue or muscle growth process. 
in human body both catabolism and anabolism toil collectively in a bid to sustain a healthy energy level and sturdy efficient muscle tissues these metabolic processes ultimately help in the growth of muscle tissues and the energy release during the works help to retain appropriate muscle activity the oxidation process facilitates the synthesis of atp essential chemical building blocks and numerous atp molecules which gives power to the cells so that it can transfer more energy to the anabolic process in all cells basically catabolism performs the role of energy provider for appropriate growth and preservation apart from providing the energy to the cells for proper growth and function catabolism occasionally acts as a pessimist that escorts to the undesirable health effects it occurs when the body has enormously elevated rate of catabolism and the fat deposits of the body and muscle tissue becomes depleted generally a majority of people who live healthy lifestyles that is proper diet and exercise do not stumble upon 
catabolic trouble. Nonetheless, hormone imbalance and high level of stress do elicit undesirable effects that spoil the normal balance between the catabolism and Lipids do have an assortment of uses, number of uses, apart from storage of energy in a compact form and before being absorbed, the fats or lipids needs to be solubilized. And this is accomplished through a process which is called as saponification. The process engrosses the utilization of enzymes, for example, triacylglycerol lipases. The utilization of detergents. For example, bile acids, free fatty acids, and the utilization of partly hydrolyzed phospholipids. Since fats or lipids are accumulated in form of esters. The foremost storage form occurs as triacylglycerol. Lipases are the enzymes that liberate free fatty acid from the accumulated fats or lipids. However, the hormone sensitive lipases are restricted by insulin, cortisol, and epinephrine. Lipases not only attack the backbone of the larger lipid moiety, but also assault the bond between the fatty acid and oxygen of the glycerol. Among lipases, phospholipases, a cell, phospholipids, and more or less four types of phospholipases occur with different names that is relied on the type of bond they cleave. Phospholipases are not fussy about their substrate and hit a glycerol ester link bearing fatty acid of any length attached to it. During the catabolism of lipids or fats following important points were observed. 
first is the recycling of the constituents and second most important point is the channeling of the metabolite. In the catabolism of fatty acid, the recycling of constituent takes place. Coenzyme A acts as a major player and NAD and FAD are used as an electron carriers at any possible time the cell uses or reuses an enzyme coenzyme or a cofactor. The second most vital point is the channeling of metabolite. During catabolism, The fatty acids are broken down to acetyl CoA, which is supplied to the TCA cycle. Most of the time, cells also attempt to salvage the universal pathways. This is accomplished through the conversion of a common metabolite which is channeled into an already accessible pathway. In short, the activation of fatty acid occurs by totting up of coenzyme A, which necessitates energy in the form of ATP. The beta carbon. is afterward oxidized to a ketone by three reactions followed by the action of beta thioketolase that splits fatty acid into acetyl CoA with further addition of another coenzyme A to the earlier oxidized beta moiety of the fatty acid. Through the consecutive rounds of oxidation, a fatty acid gets completed and completely converted to acetyl CoA. The fatty acid with odd numbers of carbon atoms, the ultimate reaction yield acetyl CoA and coenzyme A captivated to propionyl CoA. In E. coli, this propionyl CoA gets converted to pyruvate 
and in diverse bacteria it is gripped differently. So, today in this lecture we have learned about the catabolism of lipids or the fats and what are the implications of lipids or fat in the metabolism. This lipid catabolism also known as lipolysis where the fats or the lipid molecules are wrecked down into parts and can either be channel to grip cycle or gets converted to pyruvate. The triacylglycerols or the triglycerides gets broken down to glycerol and fatty acids by hydrolysis. Glycerol enters the Krebs cycle after its conversion to pyruvate in the cytosol and fatty acid undergo oxidation. Thank you.